December 21st, 2019. Christmas is just around the corner now. And uh, today I want to talk about Noah's Ark. And uh, I've been a big fan of uh, proving that the Ark lays on Mount Ararat in Turkey for many, many years. Um, I would follow the old expeditions. Um, there is no doubt that there was a, a Roman Greco philosopher named Flavius Josephus in 100 AD. Flavius Josephus, his, his one of the first accounts, 100 AD, that he talks of people visiting the ark regularly and making talismans for necklaces and taking pieces of it home as charms. So exactly what has happened is Turkey has kept this secret forever, and it is really Noah's Ark. It's a true story. It's a faith-based story. So if you don't have faith and understand, you have to think a minute. There's no doubt there's a giant ship on the side of Mount Ararat. It's been there for about 5,000 years, and the people who live in Turkey believe it and know it. And now the world is knowing it. Since the 70s and 80s, with a number of other expeditions, I posted some stuff on this a while back. I'll put it up again below this video so you can see for yourself. They use side scan radar. There's no doubt it's a ship, and it's most likely Noah's Ark. I've been talking about students to this for a long time, and I'm very excited about it because it's time to realize the miracles that happen with humans and the animals. You have to think about Noah and the idea of a God coming to him or a higher entity coming to him that we call God and saying, Noah, the animals on the earth are more important than the human animals. And the animals on the earth have to be protected or they will be gone forever. I lost the recipe. <laughs> I know I had you going for a minute. Something that the God doesn't lose is the recipe. The idea is it's the first day in time as we know, 3000 BC, where humans were instructed that the animals on earth were more important than the human animals with rationality because they were about to be extincted in a flood. There are expedition films going up to Noah's Ark throughout the early 1900s, a couple are more infamous than others. And like I said, I'll post those for you to decide. I'm not here to make you believe this ship is Noah's Ark or not. I want you to realize it is a real ship. It's on Mount Ararat, and the people of Turkey, especially in that region, have known it's the Ark for thousands of years. As I said, it is a matter of faith, and you should believe. It's hard to imagine. But if you got animals on a giant ship and fed them and took care of them properly and put them in a sedate environment, they wouldn't know what's going on. They would work with you. Theoretically, it's beyond possible with the right people who knew animal husbandry. And we all know that soon after the ark landed, Noah found a vineyard and made a bigger one and got drunk in his tent and God wouldn't talk to him. And that's why I'm having a little whiskey to talk to you about this one. God made that too when he gave us the know-how to distill sour mash. The reality is vast. Noah's ark is real and it rests on Mount Ararat. Look it up on YouTube, Ararat. A R A rat, error rat. And you will see that there are anchor stones. The biggest anchor stone in the world is there. 60, I think it was 60 tons. So it's significant and uh, it's unbelievable. Uh, it's the biggest anchor stone in the world. These anchor stones, it would have took to hold the ark down. It's all got Aramaic writing on it to prove it. The truth is there. Turkey concealed it. Soon it will be a tourist event and you'll be able to drive right up there. I've already seen the road and the welcome center. I hope you have a good day. Peace out, y'all. Enjoy the holidays. I'll talk to you in the middle.